Hello my friends, so for today I'm planning to continue work on my RV10 build and uh, to continue to on work to work on my horizontal stabilizer which as you remember in last video I left completely disassembled and the next steps will be deburr all holes, edges, uh, dimple holes, well basically same what we did with you for the vertical stabilizer, same what we did with you for the rudder, well basically the same steps just now for the horizontal stop. So let's watch, it's a good weather outside in terms of the sun, it's really sunny, it's a bright nice day today, however winds aloft are about, I just was checking about 3000 feet, about 45 knots, which is well quite strong for this area and uh, winds near the ground about 15, gusting 25-30, so definitely not the day for flying at least not for comfortable flying but definitely the day for good work inside of the warm hunger let's watch
So, we are one step closer to priming. I just again built my improvised uh, painting camera. I put all parts inside. Everything is prepared for the covering, for the basically uh, covering with the primer. And my next step will be a priming of the old parts. So, I'm gonna do it right now. So, about 40 minutes later, we have all parts primed. Well, not bad, not bad, not bad. And I opened the gate just to let all those films go away and I need a clear air definitely here. So, our V10 build is in progress. All right, so for today that's it. My RV 10 build for today is completed and finished and I'm really happy I was able to actually prime all my horizontal stabili uh, stabilator parts because it, it was a really important step for me I was not sure if I will be able to do that today or not and how much work I still have because imagine uh, technically the building the elevators it's more like you build two uh, independent but like similar identical parts so I would compare it probably to double uh, work it like to, to work on the rudder just doubled so it was a lot anyway everything went so far so good and smooth and I have all parts now primed I still have those trim tr trim tabs which according to Vance manual should be assembled at later stage but I uh, went ahead and uh, primed all uh, parts related to the trim tabs as well well just to to avoid later need of priming and I'll just probably dimple those when needed and uh, put whatever parts is required so aside of that I'm done for today and I see you in the next video when I'll start to work on next work day on my um, on, on, the, on the riveting of my uh, elevators and well stay safe about this COVID-19 uh, virus just stay safe and everything should be fine and I see you in my next video take care bye